Katherine Boyer. I'm here to teach you how to do CPR today. Uh, I am an advanced emergency medical technician here with Hempsey here in Huntsville, and I am also a paramedic surgeon here at Calhoun. Biggest overview for CPR, some of you guys may have heard it from a corny little commercial, is going to be push hard, push deep, push fast. Now push hard and deep is going to be kind of similar in the same thing. We're going to make sure that we're going to be pushing to at least two inches of depth, no more than two and a half. Push deep, same thing, push hard, just really the way that we push. And it's going to be locked arms, inner circling hands. It's going to be in the middle of the sternum to the lower part. So in between the nipple line, and I would show you right here. So it's going to be right about here for this person, okay? So it's going to look something like this. Now, I am a little vertically challenged. Please forgive me for that. I would do it on the floor on the floor right here and show you guys how to do that, but it's really kind of dirty on the floor and I don't really want to show you that. So, push fast is kind of the biggest part that I want to talk to you guys about because it's the most important. We do have different ratios for how to push fast for each one of them. Ideally, across the board, you want at least 100 compressions per minute, and that's for adults, pediatrics, and infants. Adults are going to be, I'd say, probably about Body size wise, the age of 14 or 15 and above. Pediatrics is going to be 14 to the age of one. And then one and below are going to be infants. So for single person, which means it's just me or just you, it's going to be 30 to 2, 30 to 2 for two person, okay? So I wrote it up here, but it's not very, it's not showing up very well. So single person 30 to 2, two person 30 to 2. For pediatrics, it's 30 to 2 as well for one person. For two person, which means, again, it's going to be me and somebody else or you and somebody else, it's going to be 15 to 2. Reason being is that we focus on children for 15 to 2 is that they have more ventilatory issues. So that way, we really want to focus on getting more breaths in for them. For infants, it's going to be 30 to 2, 15 to 2. Uh, somewhere you're going to see for some people it's going to be 3 to 1. That's going to be more for high quality, for more along lines for when we show up, because we're going to be focusing on actually intubating the patient, getting all those ventilatory issues, and we're going to be monitoring how good our compressions are. But focus on that 30 to 2 or that 15 to 2, ideally for two-person CPR. If you guys really don't feel like getting up and close and personal with a stranger, uh, I completely understand. I don't want vomit or communicable diseases in my mouth either. The bookstore does sell for $15. It's like this little mask. It's got a one-way valve. It's probably about that big. And the one-way valve is going to prevent any of those communicable diseases actually coming to you or any of that vomit getting in your mouth. So I really highly recommend those. Now, if you don't have a metronome handy like I don't, you can always sing or hum if you're not really confident in your singing skills. You can sing or hum, again, the Bee Gees Staying Alive. My personal favorite is going to be the Star Wars Imperial March. Don't judge. And we also, if you have a really dark sense of humor, you've also got another one bites the dust by Queen. That's going to keep you consistent with the 100 beats per minute, which is ideally what we want for everybody. There's no point in doing CPR if you're not going to completely circle the blood throughout the whole entire body and actually keep oxygen going to the brain. Now, again, that's the quick, dirty overview of how to do CPR. Push, push hard, push deep, push fast. And if you guys want a full, detailed video of how to start the emergency activation response system, apply AED, or learn more of what we do once we show up for as an ambulance, please just send me an email and I'll be more than happy to make one for you. Again, my name is Katherine Boyer. Thank you for watching this video, guys.